So I received my Innovelli Blue pre-order yesterday and we're gonna open this up and set up one of these new two-in-one switches. I'm gonna be replacing some dead GE Jasco Z-Way switches that have been dying whenever we have a power outage here. That's look like looks like they've got the switches all arranged in a nice plastic caddy for us. They've included the extra wire here for each switch if you need to connect into the neutral if you don't already have one stored in your wall, as well as the security tags. And on each one of these, there's a sticker label warning us to check out the proper wiring schematics. By default, these switches are set off as a simple on-off switch. You'll have to convert over uh, either using Zigbee configuration tools uh, or using a key press pattern in order to get these to operate in other configurations, such as for a dimmer uh, or in a three-way config. Uh, I've got it here next to a dead GE Jasco Zewo switch. Uh, the Innovelli is a little more shallow, uh, so it should make it a lot easier to get this into the wall uh, when we go to the install. So let's go do that. So I've already killed power to this switch block from the breaker box in advance. And I'm using a localized spotlight here. I'm going to try and speed up the video here so that you're not just watching things in real time. Even though my breaker's off, we want to just make sure nothing's still alive in this box. And we're all good. So we should be able to just move these wires right on over from the GE switch to the new Innovelli one. And we've got our line here, we got the load, and over on the other side uh, we've got the traveler, and up top we've got the ground and the neutrals on the other side as well. It's worth noting the arrangement of the terminals on both the old GE switches and these new Innovelli switches is identical. Uh, everything's in the same place, so it's an easy swap. That seems to be the case across pretty much all smart switches I've encountered. So from here, we just need to get all of those wires connected to the appropriate terminals on the new switch, and we should be all wired up shortly. It is a little bit of a nice touch on these that they actually color coded the terminals. Uh, my older smart switches did not have that feature and it can be helpful, especially when we're working in the tight spaces of the wall where maybe the lighting's not ideal or I'm using a little lamp to do this because the power's been turned off. Go turn the power back on and see how this looks. So the power is back on. We're going to hop into Home Assistant here, and we do have a blinking blue light. Uh, going to navigate through Home Assistant to go find my configuration for my Zigbee controller and devices. And we'll hop in here and search for new Zigbee devices. Just like that, it's found our device. We get that green blink, and it's gonna go ahead and configure here. 
and this device is now ready for use in Home Assistant. So we'll assign a custom name. In this case, I'm going to call this my Den Light New, just to differentiate it from the old failed switch. If I can type here properly. And we'll assign it into the Den Room. So now we're going to hop over into my integrations and go back to the entities. And we scroll through here looking for the entities. And right now, because I haven't reloaded the front end, the new DEN switch is actually still showing all of these Inavelli VZM31 SNs. Uh, but if we hop back over through here into reload, uh, it's now going to give us the, the proper new DEN main once we get over to the device. Inavelli has really given us as many options as we could hope for in here, uh, including electrical measurement, uh, switch shutoff times, color configurations. Uh, I will need to come back in here later and just turn it over into a three-way switch mode. Uh, there's an option for that right there for the output. So that's the full install on an Inavelli Blue Switch connected in Home Assistant. Thanks for watching.